Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can connect an existing Android Studio project with an existing GitHub repository. It it mostly the case when you uh, keep on developing and constructing your projects without performing commits on GitHub and basically you when you forget about committing uh, uh, performing commits on GitHub projects. Uh, in my case, um, there, that's a, a sample case of uh, Android project Wealth Health Council. I was uh, developing this project and uh, I no doubt I have uploaded this project on uh, GitHub and keep on committing it but after two to three weeks I just uh, forget about it and uh, keep on developing my Android Studio project for almost two to three months and after that I realized I should have an online backup of my project for any uh, emergency or any uh, abrupt uh, project or file loss. So for that I just come up with a solution that because uh, it's very trouble to manually copy and uh, pasting the files, the classes, like as you can see I have created uh, more than one classes, but uh, in my old project that way I was uploaded on uh, GitHub contains almost two to three classes, but it, it contains uh, uh, a lot of classes, resource files, assets, drivers, etc. So it's trouble to, it's, it's kind of like a troublesome to manually update your project on GitHub. So there must be an automated process to do that. So this is the thing that we are going to learn in this video. And uh, moreover, uh, we will see uh, how to commit your uh, code uh, changes and uh, other changes uh, in your whole directory through Android Studio. So first of all, you have to uh, first install Git in your PC. I'll provide its link in the description of this video. So from the official uh, website of Git, you have to install the latest version of uh, Git. Uh, I have already installed as you can see here so I'm not gonna download it again uh, after that uh, the trickiest part is you have to uh, fetch its uh, executable file into the Android Studio I'll show you how we will synchronize it uh, after installing git in your PC uh, you have to go to the directory of its uh, installation files um, let me just show you go to first of all uh, okay before that go to your the android studio settings search in git and it will uh, uh, pop up that git window here you can see at the top the search box here we have to provide the git executable files path uh, which is kind of like a git.exe file sort of file so we will we are going to provide the git executable file path in that search box uh, and uh, you have to provide your own Let me just take you to the directory where I have installed it. So here you can see the git, go to your bin and here you can see the git.exe executable file. Just pre uh, append that path with git.exe, uh, oops, I missed, I, okay, git.exe and copy that whole path and then paste it in that search box. After that, just click on the test. It will pop up a message that you have successfully executed git along with its version it will show you its version okay the mine was obviously 2.28 okay click okay let me just remove it because i have already synchronized my git executable file with android studio but you have to it synchronized it after uh, placing your path click okay okay so after synchronizing your uh, git you will see those push pull git component or tools like this uh, version control etc it will start appearing in your uh, Android environment as well. So uh, first step was we have to uh, integrate Git with Android Studio and we are done with it. We have successfully integrated the Git executable file with our Android. After that, uh, this is the, my profile of uh, GitHub and uh, this is the project. Uh, one thing that uh, uh, to be noticed here is this project you have to assume this project is the older one and the project that is being opened here in Android Studio is the latest or upgraded one. Uh, I have uh, developed this project and forget uh, about performing commits on GitHub. So the project that has uploaded on GitHub is, is, the, is the one which is older. So consider it the older one. And uh, 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 like as you can see, I, one important thing is I don't want to lose my older commits like here you can see. I, have, I just want to preserve the older commits along with uh, up uh, and moreover I just want to uh, update my github along with keeping my old older com commits preserved. So we will see we, we won't lose our uh, uh, older commits along with we will also update our 
the github project has done so for that first of all uh, in our second step uh, so uh, you have to change the name of your latest project to anything else like uh, let me just say uh, backup say it backup we have to change the name of our latest project to anything else to avoid the confusions and uh, so this project this folder is my latest project that i just want to upload on github along with preserving my older commits so uh, this environment is uh, of uh, the new folder that i just renamed after that we have to import that older project which is being placed in github into the android studio and there are two methods first we can uh, get that project using the repository url and the second is using the uh, github credentials uh, in uh, after login into your github account you will see the list of all your repositories and uh, as you can see uh, these these are all my repositories that are being shown up here but using that github credential method will put you in ssh complications and uh, it will obviously going to be a uh, tough way to do that so we are not going with this github credential method we will go with this easier easier repository url method what we have to do we have to just paste the uh, url of our uh, github repository so let's just copy that url from your github profile this is the url of my github repository gulf help console and this one is the older one paste that link here and click on that clone button it will take some time if you are doing it first time i am have already done the process so it won't take much in my case so okay open your project in new window so this project is the one that is being placed in github and it is the older one and we have to update it with the uh, with our local project which is the newer or latest one so this is the older project what we have to do here we have to do some manual work we have to delete uh, the files this is the uh, this folder is the newer one or the latest one and this one is the older one that we have just downloaded from github through android studio we have to delete the older files from this folder except the few files like dot git uh, where is dot git uh, yeah first one dot git dot git ignore readme and license except these four files delete all of them these are the older files that was uploaded few months ago and wasn't updated since ever uh, after deleting uh, the files there is a, some uh, command work uh, first of all you have to take yourself to that folder this one this gulf health consoles folder we have to perform some uh, command work in it okay let me just take myself to that folder and for that uh, for that work command r cd um, the parent folder is downloads after that there is a subfolder compressed cd comp oops I just misspelled. Uh, compressed. Okay, I am in compressed folder. Download compressed, and after that, I have to get myself into get health console. So let me just copy that longer name because I just don't want to type. Copy. Shift insert will help you paste it and prepend it with CD. So here you go. We are in the our uh, project folder, the older project folder. Here we have to perform some command line work. I'll provide you these commands in the description of this video, so don't worry about it. So one by one, execute these commands. First, copy and shift insert. Okay. Now, it's the turn of second command. Copy it and uh, paste it here. So what it will do? It will just update the tree with the untracked file that we have just manually deleted. Okay. After that, we have to copy the uh, f files from the latest project folder which was uh, the backup Gulf Health Console folder copy the files accept the same dot git grid ignore license and readme files copy all of them and paste them in the older folder here so after pasting uh, all those files we have to perform uh, command work again and to update the tree with the latest commits so one by one execute these commands copy it shift insert copy the second command and uh, paste it here 
what it will do it will just uh, perform commits uh, of uh, our manual work that we just done so after committing just push all the changes onto the git that's it okay guys we are done with the uh, the crux of this whole process and the uh, all the changes has been pushed into the github let me just show you as you can see it was just updated 17 seconds ago so all the changes has been pushed and the older project was is replaced by the newer one and this basically has helped us from the trouble of manually copying and pasting all those files uh, from uh, our local um, uh, pc to github and uh, uh, so let's just perform some changes and see whether it it will reflect on github or not so i have just commented my get option after that go to vcs git and commit directory and here it will ask you uh, about uh, giving some commit message so let me just give it a testing commit and remove it whatever written after it okay click on that commit button again commit okay we have just performed commits after that push all the changes onto github okay we have successfully pushed all the changes so the project is uh, as this project is a newer one uh, the older project is replaced by the new project and uh, as you can see the 15 seconds we have just uh, change something into this repository and uh, here you can see all those commits older commits are preserved and they are not being deleted and along with we have also updated a project so let me just take you to the place where I have just performed changes for cross verification uh, that class was fetch data okay here you can see the message let me just show you here you can see the message that we just placed in commit message box testing commit and uh, here you can see the red box this was these were the uh, basically red box shows the changes uh, and you have just commented out that get function okay that's it guys we are done this is all for this video if you find this video informative do subscribe to this channel and stick your problems in the comment box so i can make videos on them thank you